Hey everyone, this is Shannon Wyrick coming to you from NS1 Labs. And today we're gonna to walk through signing up for Orb.Live. This is the community SaaS site, which you can try out for free. It is the open source Orb Dynamic Edge Observability Platform. It only takes a few minutes. You don't need a credit card. And in this video, we're gonna walk through that registration. We're gonna help you create your first agent, create your first policy, which is gonna determine which metrics you collect from that agent and create your first Prometheus data sync to have a place to send those metrics to and visualize in Grafana. Let's jump in. What we're looking at is the gitorb.io project website. Here there's a lot of great information on the project. You can read all about it. You can find out how to install things and read the documentation on creating an account. We're gonna walk through uh, in this video exactly what's in these instructions. So let's open a new tab and go over to orb.live. This is the community SaaS site. And on the right hand side here, we see the login form and below that a register button. We'll click on that and we'll create an account. We just need a minimal amount of information here. This is a first name, an optional company name. We do need an email address, a password, which we do need to confirm. And finally, the terms of service. You can read through those and click to agree. And that's it, we'll click on register. And we are now into the Orb website. We can poke around a bit here. We see a menu on the left side showing different things we can do. And we're gonna get started by creating an agent. So to create an agent, we go into the fleet menu and click on agents. We don't have any yet. So we'll click over here to create our first agent. We're gonna call this demo agent and click next. We can enter optional tags here. This is for grouping and accessing the agents to be able to send policies. So we'll start with a simple tag. These are just arbitrary key value pairs. Click next and then save. Now what we see here is the information that we'll need to connect this new agent into the system. We can copy the provisioning command that we see here, switch over to our terminal and paste it in. This has all the information that we need to run the Docker container uh, with the given credentials that we have for the agent we just created. So Docker has now run our orb agent and given us a container that we can look at. If we check the logs, we can see that our agent is running and is connected to the platform. So we'll close this box and head back. And we see already that our demo agent is online our tag is set, we see some activity. We're gonna go ahead and click into our demo agent. And we see that there's not much here yet because we haven't sent it anything to do. So let's fix that. So next we're gonna create a simple policy that we can send to our agent to tell it how and which metrics we're interested in collecting. So on the left-hand side, we'll click on policy management and we don't see any policies yet. So we'll click on a new policy and we're just gonna make a general policy that's gonna collect as much information as we can. Descriptions are always optional. We'll put something in and click next. Now we have to figure out which tap we're interested in pulling the data from. And in our current agent, the only one available is our default PCAP tap. So we're gonna pick that. We have more advanced options we're not gonna look at in this video. So we're gonna accept the default and click next. And now we need to add our handlers. What we're interested in collecting today is DNS metrics. So we will select the DNS handler. And again, we have several advanced options that we're not gonna go through. So we will again, keep the defaults and click save. We have our DNS handler in place. So we'll click save. And that's our simple first general policy. We now need a way to send this policy to the agent we've created. And we do that with agent groups. So we'll click on agent groups. And this works by matching against the tags that we created in the agent. 
if you remember, we created a test true tag. So we're going to make a group that matches that tag. We click on new agent group. We're going to call this the test group. Description is optional. And here's where we make the tag that's going to match against our agent. And as soon as we click that in, we see that it says we're going to match against one agent. We click next. And on this screen, we can even verify that our demo agent matches against the group that we're creating. So we'll click save. And we have our group. The next thing we need is a place for our agent to send metrics to. So we're going to use a Prometheus time series database. And that's handled in the sync management. So we're going to create our first sync and call it our Prometheus database. And we're using Grafana Cloud in this example, which supports remote write and is a very convenient place for us to send our metrics to. So we'll click Next. And then we need our credentials for the sync. So we've gotten this directly off of the Grafana Cloud site. We're just going to copy and paste it in. We do have separate instructions on how to create the Grafana Cloud account to give you a place to send your metrics. Once we've added the credentials, we're able to add organizational tags if we'd like, but this is optional, so we're going to skip it in this step. And then we'll just confirm our information. So our sync is in place. The final step to be able to extract the metrics from our agent and get them into our Grafana Cloud Prometheus and be able to dashboard it is to actually send that policy out to the agent. And we do that with a data set. We have no data sets yet. We're going to create one here. And this is the way that we connect all the pieces that we've created so far. So we have our general data set, which we're going to send to our test group using the general policy and sync that data to our Prometheus database. We confirm the information and send it out. Now, at this point, what we expect is that our agent has received those instructions and has begun collecting those metrics. If we click on our agent, what we see is that a active policy has showed up. It's our general policy and it's running our general data set. Okay, so the final step is to go to our Grafana dashboard and make sure that we can see the metrics coming in for our agent. So we'll switch over and what we're gonna be using is the community dashboard that's available directly on the grafana.com site. Uh, and it's gonna expose a dashboard that uses all the metrics that PackAdvisor can send in to Prometheus. And we do see that our demo agent is connected and is sending in metrics. We do have a filter set up for our policy. Of course, we only have one policy at the moment. And because we had been using our mock traffic generator, we see our traffic coming in. So this dashboard will start to give you an idea of some of the different metrics you can pull out as you explore the traffic on your systems. Okay, that's all we have for today. Thanks very much for your time. And be sure to join us for other videos as we explore how to use Orb and PackAdvisor.